son, daddy's here to tell you something. So sit down, take your Fortnite sippy cup, take a sip of your juice. Because I'm going to teach you ways that you've been holding yourself back. Now think of all the toxic traits you have. What are some of the toxic traits you have? Do you blame the character whenever you lose? Do you blame the player? Do you hate a character so much that you would just rather avoid playing them online or offline? You'd rather play matches that you know you're gonna win so that way your ego gets boosted? So that way you feel like you're better than you actually are? But I'm gonna tell you something right now. That mindset right there is always going to hold you back and you will never become a top player or even a top 10 player in your region if you continue with that toxic mindset that I don't want to play certain characters, that I don't want to play certain people because I'm afraid that I'm going to lose and that I can't overcome it, that I'm going to get salty, that I'm going to get so mad that I'm going to slam my controller and that's okay. You're passionate about the game and that's cool, but daddy got to tell you something. Sit your ass down and become humble. I've met certain players, really good players on Twitter. And I remember I was doing the first to seven, the best of seven Super Saiyan battles. And I remember I had asked this one person to go play this Pikachu. You know what that person's answer was? Nah, if it's any, if it's a zoner or a Pikachu, forget about it. Mind you, I was setting this person up with one of the best Pikachu players in New York City, which is Mouse Rat. How do you give up an opportunity like that to learn the matchup? To gain the experience because you don't like the character. Because I'm sorry to tell you, if you're watching this video, you're going to see really good Pikachus in your bracket. You're going to play them. And you may even beat some of them. But are you going to have a good time? No. That type of mindset will always hold a person back from becoming a top 10 player. A top 8 player in the world. Do you know why MKLeo is the best? Because he takes up any challenge. He tries to figure out what's going on with him. Why can't he beat Sonics? And a couple times, he's beaten Sonics. He's used different characters. He's tried to at least overcome his weaknesses. And that's what differentiates a great player to a good player. It's not just about skill. It's not just about hard work. It's not just about talent. It's about the mindset. If you personally hate Samus, hit up the best Samuses you know and play them for an hour. It doesn't matter how much you're going to lose. It doesn't matter how many times you're going to take that L. Take that damn L, turn it sideways, take another L and turn it into a W. Gain that experience. Play your least favorite characters in your least favorite stage for hours upon hours. Because if you don't, you will never overcome those challenges. I hate King K rules. But do you think if the best King K rule hit me up, yo ex, I want to play you? Even though I know I'm going to lose. Even though I know I'm going to get frustrated. Do you really think the smart idea is to say no? Because when I meet a King K rule in bracket, I'm not going to have a good time. At least if I get the matchup experience and maybe I win one game, then I know that I can overcome my weaknesses. It doesn't matter if I lose for 10 hours straight. It doesn't matter if I have tears coming down my eyes at the end of the day. It doesn't matter if I feel like I want to give up on the game. As long as I know that I can overcome my weaknesses, your weaknesses, you can become better much faster. But you need to take sacrifices. You need to lose. Sometimes people who are toxic can still become really good players. Let's just talk about some players that have been outed. Like, let's just talk about, you know, the best player in Smash 4. We ain't gonna say his name. But we know who we're talking about. I remember before all of that went down, he talked about how he had lost to a Palutena. So he flew out some of the best Palutenas in the world. Did he lose that matchup again? I doubt it. But when you use some of the best players as an example, and you figure out why some of them were so successful as they were, then you start to realize that maybe your mindset isn't helping you. For a while, I was considered one of the best Marths in the world. I still think I'm one of the best Marths in the world. I'm confident. I know for a fact that when I had haters before, they never wanted to play me. And I'll give you two reasons why they didn't want to play me. One, because they know I was fucking good. Two, they knew that even if I was to lose, it wouldn't phase me. Taking an L doesn't scare me. Losing on stream doesn't scare me. Admitting to losing to Kill a Kill or La Luna or Jax doesn't scare me. 
because that doesn't matter at the end of the day. What matters is you taking those losses, you taking that toxic mindset and you throwing them away and you learn from each experience. So if you hate playing Pikachu, if you hate playing Me Gunner, you hate playing K. Rule, you hate playing Marths, go through the gauntlet because it's not easy. Figure the matchup out. Play some of the best. I don't care how many times I lose. I don't care how many times I get clipped. I don't care if somebody goes to like a group chat and says, hey, I just bought your boy X. I don't give a fuck. Because that was a great experience and I thank you for that. So if you're afraid of a character, you're afraid of a player, you're afraid of a certain matchup, learn it. Lose. It's okay to lose. If you're ever on Elite Smash, and you lose really bad to this one for glory elite smash character and then they rematch you but then the next match you still lose but you do a lot better that to me is a w why because you overcame your saltiness even by a little bit you did better than you did the last time and you gotta just take those small w's because it starts to add up get rid of that toxic mindset because you may very well be at the cusp of becoming the best Bowser in your region, the best player in your state. But you must overcome everything that brings you down, including yourself, including your mindset. For a while, I had a bad mindset and it just held me back. Now that I have a better mindset, I'm seeing a lot more results. I'm seeing a lot more adjustments in my play. Anyways, this was your boy X, and I'm out here. This is a stupid dope mix. <laughs>